What is going on guys? So clearly starting my day off in the car and we're actually at the post office dropping off all those packages. We did like 35 orders, so I couldn't fit everything in that bag, but I'm gonna go back home and then bring it out. So be patient, you guys should get it about two to three days, um, maybe four days at the latest, but thank you to everyone that is using the discount code. And since it is still the holidays, I'm gonna continue that discount code so you can still use the 40% off with the code TAKE40. So today is gonna be a good day because it always is a good day, guys. You gotta keep the positive vibes. We're gonna go to Plato's Closet. We're gonna go to a couple Goodwills. We're gonna just have a good day. So let's get it, guys. Usually right after Christmas is like the best time to go thrifting. And the reason is is that for Christmas, everybody got new clothes, got new wardrobes, new everything. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna go in their closet, they're gonna find the old stuff that they don't wear anymore and donate to Goodwill. Also, they can get a tax write-off. When you donate stuff to Goodwill, you can get a tax write-off and then people usually do their taxes between January, February. So again, that's another reason. At the end of the year, everyone donates so they can get a big tax write-off to donate the clothes. So hopefully we find some good stuff. I'm gonna be going to Plato's Closet a lot throughout this next week because imagine all the kids that got all these shirts that they don't want. They're just gonna go and sell them. Also, again, they're gonna be cleaning out their closets. So they're gonna find their old shirts that they might not like and donate them or get money because they have new stuff. But I hope you guys had amazing holidays. I hope you guys got everything you wanted for Christmas or, or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. I hope you got whatever you asked for. Let me know in the comments below what was the favorite gift, like that one gift that you were just like, man, I can't believe I got that. Me personally, so my mom gave me like a Best Buy gift card to help out with upgrading my camera. My dad got me um, the pair of Vans, so I didn't get like nothing big or nothing huge. Once you get older, you realize that the stuff you need, now like next year, I'm gonna be the one buying gifts for everyone. Like next year is, is gonna be my year. And like obviously right now I'm doing trips to the thrifts, but I can't wait till like I made it successfully that I'm gonna be doing trips to the Rolex store, to buying my dad, because I told my dad, like ever since I was younger, I wanna get him and I matching Rolexes. I don't wanna get him a car, you know, everyone buys their dad a nice car. My dad is the hardest working man I know, and he actually has a Mercedes, and he actually just recently got that. He used to drive the same car for like 15 years, and then he finally ended up giving them to his sister because his sister needed a new car. And he's like, you know what? I've worked this hard, I'm gonna get a Mercedes. So I don't need to get my dad a car, but once I make it, I do want to get him a matching Rolex. So I'm gonna be doing like trip to the Rolex store. Um, I am gonna be buying my mom a car. Once like I make it as whatever I do like as in YouTube or with whatever the case may be, I am gonna buy my mom a car. So like, Yes, we're doing trips to the thrifts now and whatnot, but a few years from, a couple years from now, we're probably gonna be doing trip to the car store or whatever the case may be. So let's get it, guys. I'm so hyped for 2017. All right, Plato's Closet is the first on the list. Ah. Guys, notice I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt and it's like, what, December 27th? That's ridiculous. Got these Nike Air Tech Challenges, but size twelve fifty dollars, which fifty dollars is way too much. These are so like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, diamond shirt, polo, new age. So that was a fail, we didn't find anything. Sometimes I feel like I come like too often, like I come like almost every like three days or so, so like some of the stuff is always there. But you know, that's when, like the day that I don't come is the day that someone will message me that's local and say, yo bro, I found this at this Plato's closet. And it's like, damn, why did I not go? So we're gonna hit up Goodwill, let's hope we get some better luck. So 
So I'm not sure about this jacket, but it is a Nike. has like this plaid inside, and it's like this soft velvet, or I don't even know what kind of material. We have Harlem Renaissance. Straight off the rack, Tommy. Please visit our designer department where you will always find great designer and name brands at a fraction of the cost. And don't forget to shop our regular women's department where you will always find... Then off of this rolling rack, we got Givenchy activewear, Givenchy, like a long sleeve. Black and red and Adidas sweatpants. Not tapered at the bottom though. Size large, Marlboro Adventure Team like the tapered bottoms well to be honest when I was looking in there I went through like all the shirts I'm like man we're not gonna find anything this is gonna be a dry day and then I saw a couple rolling racks roll out so I went over there and I got those Tommy shorts those things are insane they says it's a size XL but it seems a little small so I don't know if it's boys or men's but I'm gonna try them on when I get them home because I think those are gonna be for the personal stash I mean I'm always wearing gym shorts so you already know Florida weather you got to be comfortable also, it was my first time really going into the like the pants short section. I usually don't really look through it, and I don't know why, but I got those nice black black and red Adidas track pants as well as the Marlboro like jogger style. There is a couple pen marks, so I'm not sure how those are going to do, but either way, it's still a nice find. We also found a pair of diamond shorts, which I didn't even show you guys. My camera's blinking red, so let me switch the battery. All right, now we have a brand new battery ready to go. Let's hit up another Goodwill, guys. Let's get it. Oh, it's so bright. I think I'm not in focus at all. It is so dark, but Goodwill Superstore. Let's get it. Bootleg Tommy Sports. 1995 Super Bowl. Adidas collab with Darth Vader Star Wars. So that wasn't too bad. We're leaving with three shirts. We got the Adidas collab with Star Wars or Darth Vader. We got the Super Bowl and the Bootleg Tommy. So now I just realized that there's a new Goodwill they just opened up, I believe a couple days ago. So let's go see, maybe they have a bunch of back stock. Before we pull up to Goodwill, I'm gonna stop at this other thrift store. This thrift store, we found a couple pair of Vans one time. They don't have much special. Their prices are really high. So let's see what they got. These Navy Air Force Ones with gum bottoms. Unfortunately, they're asking $40, so we're gonna pass. Found these Jordan 13s. These white Harachis. They also have these Air Maxes. But they are taxing, so I'm only getting on a couple things. They got these Air Force One. Just found a brand new Polo Ruffler, and if you notice, somebody took off the tag. But this is a brand new duffel, guys. Fake Gucci bag. Got like this Satin Bomber NBA Knicks but they are asking 20 bucks. Again, this is like a taxing place, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna cop this. So I actually just looked this jacket up on eBay since it is a starter. Where's the starter patch? There's a starter right there, and these actually go for about like 100 plus, so I'm thinking I'm actually gonna cop this. Fubu jersey. Again, they're taxing on all their jerseys. 15 bucks for this Dolphin jersey. Cardinals. I spent more than I was expecting to. That Goodwill or that thrift store, it's not even Goodwill, that thrift store is like almost like a consignment shop. Like it's like a Goodwill Plato's Closet, if that really makes sense. But we found some nice things. We got those Jordan 13s. We got the brand new Polo Ralph Lauren duffel bag. We got the white Harachis, which I might end up keeping because they're my size. And we got that satin uh, starter jacket. So pretty nice finds. We're gonna go across the street now to Goodwill and then probably end our day just because that took a beating. I know I said I have a $100 limit, but I spent $78 at this one. So it's like, eh. A little faded on the collar, but hey, first pickup. Guys, look what I just found, another Picasso. This one's from 1991. This will be the second one in this week. And if you notice in fine letters, it says Pablo Picasso. 1991. Bootleg Polo Ralph Lauren hat. 
So we found another Pablo Picasso, which I always say, guys, check the art, whether if they have vintage art or designer like Picasso. We ended up getting that for $5 because it was green, which green this week is half off. So that was a super steal. And like all these artworks, you're probably like thinking, oh, can I buy it? I'm keeping every single artwork for when I buy my house, I'm gonna hang up everything. So right now I have two Pablo Picassos. If I find one more, then it'll be like a trilogy, like a three, like I'm gonna do with the Tommy Hilfiger. I'm gonna have Tommy Hilfiger signed. I'm gonna have my, just all different things hung up. So that was a really nice find. We didn't find any clothes in there, which eh, we already got enough. I spent way too much money today, so. I'm gonna go get some food, then quickly jump back home, show you guys what I got so we can upload this video. Guys, if anyone is a huge car fanatic, look at this Skyline Nissan GTR that's right hand drive. I was like, yo, that can't be a real one. And then the guy is sitting to the right. I wanna see if I can get a better shot, but oh my gosh, you don't see these. I think that, I thought that these were illegal, but I guess not. Look, let me see. See the guy sitting on the right hand side? Nissan GTR. That is insane. That's probably like a $30,000 car right there. And you wouldn't even think of it just cause it looks so old. All right guys, let's jump into today's haul. We did find a lot of fire stuff. I'm also gonna add on my website a little slot for pants and shorts. Right now I haven't been doing that just because I've been only listing a few pants and shorts. But I'm going to start listing, so make sure you guys check it out. There'll be like a shorts and pants section that all these will be listed. But we have a diamond size XL in like this, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Like, I, I think it's like simplicity or something like that. I believe so. Mark, like, let me know down below. Oh my gosh. Every time I do a video, I get a phone call, but I'm ignoring this because you guys are first. I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up keeping these or not. I love gym shorts that have back pockets. This has a back zipper pocket. So I'm gonna try this on. If not, then they will be for sale on my website. Again, size XL. All these will be on my website. Remote, like everything that you see should be on my website. Now these are a size large. You got the Marlboro Adventure Team. This is the back pocket zipper. The front. There is a lot of pen marks on this. So I'm gonna evaluate to see what the condition is but just keep in mind like i don't know if someone just got crazy with a marker i don't know if they're permanent either i'm also going to try them on just because they are very light i might end up keeping these i know you guys are like emilio you you're, are you going to keep everything probably guys probably this next piece we got is a size medium we got Givenchy. Givenchy. i don't roast me but you guys can read it, Givenchy, Givenchy, and this long sleeve, it's like tapered at the sleeves. It's really soft too. Size medium, but seems like they're a little small. Oh, well, I guess they stretch out. Adidas black and red, like track pants, and they do have zipper pockets on each side. They are not tapered like joggers at the bottom, so it's just like that regular track style pants. Size large, we got Adidas collab with Star Wars. So we have Adidas Darth Vader with the Darth Vader right there. On the inside collar, it says, may the force be with you. I believe I just sold one similar to this cause I was packing a jig up yesterday, but we have a 1995 Super Bowl from Miami. Then the fire, or like the top piece of today, I would say, is these Tommy gym shorts. We have Tommy spell out, the little Tommy flag. These says it's an XL, but again, I'm gonna try these on because if these fit, I'm 100% keeping these. Um, as you guys know, I live in South Florida. All I wear is gym shorts and t-shirts because it does not get cold. So these are gonna be such a nice. If not, then I'll probably sell them, but I haven't seen any like this for sale for a while, so these will be a little bit pricey. By the way, discount code, if you guys didn't know, is still going on 40% off. These clothes that will be uploaded, you could take the discount on, as well as all the old stuff with the code TAKE40. Ended up picking these Jordan 14s. I think I said they were 13 earlier. Guys, if I call something a uh, 13, or if I call something blue and it's green, or if I say it's a horse and it's not a horse, it's an alligator. If I say it's an alligator, it's really a polo horse. 
it I'm I'm a I'm a human being. Like I'm normal. I mess up sometimes. I like I try to think before I speak. Like when I'm speaking into a camera when thousands of people are watching, it gets me a little bit nervous. So I might call something what it's not, or I might say something that it is. Don't roast me in the comments. If you guys were doing this, you guys would probably mess up too. So again, I try my best. There might be a couple words I might say. Oh, that's lime green, but it's like blue. Okay, so don't don't kill me. But these are Jordan 14s. I'm not sure of what kind of 14 this is. I believe it is a new release though. I'm gonna clean them up. They are a size 11 and a half, which is my size, but honestly, I'm not a big fan of the Jordan 14s. So I'm gonna clean these up and post them on my website. But I'll show you guys, they are in pretty good condition. I don't see any major flaws. Again, I'll clean up and make them look nice for you guys. Next jacket, I was actually going to pass up on just because it was $20, but then I did a little eBay searching and I was like, let me just see what these go for. And these actually go for like 100 plus. So I figured, A, let me, it's a gamble, let's try to cop it. I'll throw up, up on the website in case one of you guys want to cop it first. But if it doesn't sell, then I'll just throw it up on eBay. It is a satin starter jacket with NYX embroidered. We got NBA, oops, sorry, wrong side. We got NBA patch right there. This is a size XL, so my big dudes, this is for you. But you can see the starter logo. Next pair of shoes we got, we got these all white Hirachis. These are a little bit dirty. These are a size 12, so I might clean them up and end up keeping them. Or same thing, I will clean them up and put them up on the website for you. They look pretty good condition, just a little soap and water and they should be as good as new. I've never owned a pair of Hirachis, so I might end up keeping them just to add in the collection. And then for the final piece, oh, no, sorry. I was about to say the final piece. We actually have two pieces. So this Polo Ralph Lauren duffel bag, honestly, I thought this was a fake at first. Um, because a lot of companies like to use this forest green with the brown. But then I saw the horse. Uh, we'll focus the horseman. I was like, man, this is awesome. And then you see this plastic tag, which I imagine this is where the polo tags were. And somebody just ripped it off. But this is 100% dead stock brand new. It smells brand new. Like you could tell by the leather how these handles are like barely stretched. If I have... Oh, uh, it's a different style, but this is the... Polo Ralph Lauren duffel I use. The straps are like this. This one's a little bit bigger. This is like a weekend bag. And this one's like the small travel on. So you guys can see. So this will be for sale. I was gonna keep it, but it being brand new, I mean, you really can't beat that. A couple people have been asking about polo duffels. So first person gets this, shout out to you. Then for the final piece, we did come up on another Picasso, which I guys I tell you guys all the time, make sure you check the art. Ugh, these hiccups. Make sure you guys check the art because you never know what you're going to find. So, as you can see, we have Picasso right there. This print is from 1991. It's obviously not a legit Picasso painting. If it was, it'd be worth millions of dollars. I'm not sure if this one is worth as much as the previous one I found. The previous one I found was worth about $600. This might be worth maybe two or 300 But like I said, I'm gonna wait till I buy my house and I'm gonna hang up all these finds that I find. If you guys like this video, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We're on that road to 1 million subs next year, which is a difficult road. It's gonna be hard, but it's not impossible. If we have the mindset to do it, Law of Attraction will get us a million subs. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, guys. The middle of December, she pulled up in the skirt. Santa Claus of the hood, I pull up with the work. They call me East Atlanta Santa, when up on me, get murdered.